A few years ago, I had a virtual coaching session with a young hurdler who had a really successful eighth grade season. He broke his school record and went to the state championships, but he had a challenge going into high school track. That I am extremely short compared to most male hurdlers. So that poses the challenge and going from my six very successful middle school years to high school, a lot of my coaches went, enjoy this while it lasts because the 110 hurdles are out of shot. You're never going to be doing this again. But that was sad because it was my favorite event. Like I loved it. This is what I, I dreamed for. I, the 110 hurdles, they always pose so much fascination in my mind because there was so much technique to it. And I'm always, and coming off of not being very coordinated to actually being able to succeed in it. I, I really, I day and night was researching this stuff. So I really wanted to help this kid. Being short in the hurdles really does present some challenges. As everybody had ever told me, I don't know if the high hurdles are going to make make it for you in high school. They're six inches taller than they were in middle school. And go figure, I never ended up growing. I'm still the same height I was <laughs> eighth grade year. My torso is the majority of my height. My legs are much shorter. I mean, I've met kids that are five foot four that have the same. So when I put a hurdle up to me, the hurdle is actually up to my belly button. I gave him some advice on how to manage the taller hurdles, and he took this into his freshman season. I put a lot of work into those. I went from absolutely flailing, flailing arms to just a little bit of flailing. By the end of my season, I had gotten pretty good time in my accounting championships. I didn't make it on the regionals, of course. I'm learning to get pretty low to the hurdles. I was no longer getting a bunch of height on them. I was actually staying pretty low because I figured out that finally that if I'm going to be able to do anything, I'm going to have to be grazing the hurdles with my thighs. After his freshman year, Nolan decided to go all in on track and do this all year. So I put together a plan for him to increase his takeoff and his landing distance so he can have a lower arc over the hurdle. I also put together for him a customized version of my off-season hurdle training program. You can get a link in the description below. That's what I worked on a lot. I worked on a lot of power. I got into lifting a lot, a lot more, mostly the power clean. And I got actually a very nice lift, uh, fourth all time best in my school and definitely very good for my body weight, which was like 155 pounds out of 235 pound power clean. Now that Nolan's increased his strength and power, he'll have more speed, which should help his three stepping. In my first race, I was able to get two hurdles, three stepping, and it was absolutely terrible. Arms were swinging. I had had good technique all warm up, all everything. Come the race, the nerves got to me. In my next race, again, I was too scared of the three stepping. I got maybe the same amount of hurdles, three stepping, and then I got to four stepping, got a PR though. And then the final race, I said, I don't care what happens. I am going to get three steps this full race. So throughout this, I got three steps the entire race. I was bounding like a bunny more than ever. Technique, absolutely garbage. The arms were flailing still, but I did it. I got three steps for the entire indoor race, which gave me hope. Coming out of the indoor season his sophomore year, all the focus that Nolan put on three-stepping kind of had a negative effect on his stride. So I had to put him on some drills to improve it. I emailed Coach Caton and we had figured out some drills that I could work on. And I worked on quick stepping, shortening distance, shortening the height of the hurdles, and focusing a lot on speed and just neglect, like just forget, try to get my brain to forget the fact that I actually have to hurdle. At the start of his outdoor season, I put Nolan on my hurdle training plan to make sure that his workouts progressed as he improved. And throughout this, I had my races again been getting better and coming up to my league meet again, I had finally gotten the first eight hurdles, uh, completely three-stepped. It didn't look super pretty, but it was pretty good. Uh, league meet, I had the best start of my entire hurdling career and I had a very nice time that was on par with the middle school time that nobody thought I would ever be able to reachieve in high school with the six inch higher hurdles. Finally going in our district meet, I'd made our district finals 
it wasn't insanely crazy, but I had gotten another good time. So even though I didn't do absolutely insane things this season, the three-stepping has been getting very comfortable and it gives me a lot of hope for the next uh, off-season trainings and getting more comfortable with the three-stepping going into my junior year. Now it's time to start building for junior year. So Nolan is back on the off-season training plan. And again, I'm gonna customize it based on his new needs. Absolutely amazing. The workouts in there were such a big help this season and they really did. They were a giant game changer and I would like to use those and some hard work to try to get the three-stepping in my speed. I wanna work on speed a lot more and try to make it to where it's, it's just running, completely running over these hurdles, not thinking about it, just gliding over them because I'm gonna to have to, I'm gonna to have to get really low to these things to be able to get pretty fast times. Nolan's a pretty exceptional athlete in terms of his dedication and his willingness to put in the work. He's also got some pretty serious goals. I really want to make my regional meet next year. I really feel like if I can keep up with what I did, with I, what I did this year, I can either make it my junior or senior year. And I would like to get pretty close to my indoor school record next season. My three-step was nowhere close to what it was in the offseason, and I really think that if I can have a nice start like I did in my league meet, that I can easily get that record with especially the offseason work as well. I plan to keep up with Coach Aiton, and I really hope that what we've been doing the past <laughs> over two years now keeps up, and I can't wait to see where this goes. How can you not root for this kid? Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you can see when I post updates on him. Also, everything that was mentioned in this video, there's a link in the description below to see it. And as always, you can go to my website at acemethodcoaching.com to see how I can help you with your hurdling. In the meantime, Coach Ace out.